Neurofeedback to Overcome Bipolar Disorder. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you how it works. Okay, if you or someone you love is struggling with bipolar disorder, this tends to be the combination of two different brain performance patterns. So let me explain it to you. What a brain performance pattern is kind of the operating mode that a brain is using at any given time to be able to create the state that you're experiencing. So my goal for everybody is that they are using the optimal brain pattern that creates and sustains calm focus. What that brain pattern looks like is, it is the brain pattern where your brain is using medium speed in the middle. It's a combination of alpha and low beta, perfectly fast medium speed to be able to get into the zone or flow state as Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, one of my dear beloved mentors in this field, explains. So what flow state is, it's when you're in the zone and you're doing your work or you're engaging with your family and your loved ones or you're engaging in your hobbies and you basically lose time because you're so engaged, your brain feels great and you're having a lovely experience in the present moment. Now, what bipolar disorder is, unfortunately, it is literally the bipolar opposites of flow state in the middle. This is how it happens. So when you struggle with bipolar disorder, you are swinging between two different brain performance patterns. The first brain performance pattern is one of anxiety. It's up here, excessive use of that high, extra fast speed, high beta, that creates feelings of anxiousness, stress, uh, social anxiety, you may not wanna go out, it is problem seeking mode, so you find a lot of problems. Uh, low beta, the zone is problem solving mode by comparison. So when you're up here in high beta and you're using a ton of excessive fast speed, you are in a chronically anxious state for a long time. Unfortunately, the brain wasn't designed to stay in a chronically anxious state for a long time. So you know what happens? is it conks out. And no, that is not a professional term, but what happens is the brain stops using all that chronically anxious speed and it shifts down. In the downshift, what happens is the pendulum of bipolarism swings in the opposite direction to fatigue, overwhelm, not having enough energy to get up and go, your get up and go, got up and went, as I like to say. And after being in this chronically anxious state for a while, now you're in couch mode. Power in the brain is lowered, motivation decreases, ability to stay focused and calm goes away, and you ride that out for a time. Now the amount of time depends on how much recovery the brain needs from the chronically anxious state that it was in before. So you stay on the couch while the brain is recovering from all that excessive high speed, all that heat. And once it's kind of recovered and gained its momentum again, it doesn't go back to flow state, unfortunately. What it does is it goes directly back into that chronically anxious state that will burn it out again. So you spend your life swinging between anxiety and overwhelm and depression. I don't love to use the word depression, but what it means is it's a depressed nervous system that cannot be motivated. It can't be calm and focused. So you're swinging between these two brain patterns, never staying in the middle of the pendulum of calm focus. Now my goal for you is to regulate the brain performance pattern so that your pendulum swings here. And when it swings here in the optimal zone of calm focus, you never get into that high, high, high fast speed of anxiety and anxiousness, which means your brain doesn't have to swing in the polar opposite direction to be able, be able to recover in a depressed state. Now, your pendulum swinging like this. And when that happens, you can stay calm and focused. Yeah, you're gonna feel stressed out, but you're gonna go here and you're going to be able to handle the stress. 
It's because it's not up here, it's over here. You're gonna be able to ham handle that and come back down into the, the middle so that you are in calm focus again. You're never gonna have to swing way out here into recovery. Now, how does neurofeedback accomplish that? What neurofeedback does is it trains your brain to make more of that perfectly calm and focused speed in the middle of alpha and low beta. And it teaches your brain to decrease production of high beta, to decrease production of delta and theta, those slow speeds that are necessary for recovery, and to keep power up in the middle of low beta. When your brain learns how to do that, then you can stay in the calm and focus zone. Now, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, just the fact of the matter is that it takes your brain a little while to be able to do that. Neurofeedback is a teaching modality. It's neuroscience. It's basically using neuroplasticity to reshape and rewire the way that your brain is performing. That doesn't happen overnight. That's the unfortunate part, but it's just the essence of healing. And if you broke your leg, your leg would not heal overnight. And I want you to think about it this way in terms of medications, because so many people ask me about medications. Well, can I just take medication for it? Medication is a Band-Aid. And honestly, most times it doesn't even work. I don't need to tell you that if you're watching this video, because likely you've tried medications and you're still here because you know they don't work. And they may work for a time, hence the Band-Aid. You can put a Band-Aid on a wound for a little while, but if you have a deep cut, you need stitches. Neurofeedback is the stitches that you need. Basically, it holds the brain pattern in the mode of calm focus, and it holds it there more and more and more, just like stitches would hold a wound together so the wound can heal itself. Neurofeedback is holding it in the calm focus pattern, bringing that anxiety down, bringing that depression down so the brain can heal itself. That is how it works. No band-aids necessary. In the end, your brain has actually healed itself and it can stay in the calm focus mode forever. And people ask me, is this a long-term solution? Yes, it is. The way I do it, yes, it is. Because I give you tools and techniques and strategies, actual technology to use for the rest of your life, as much or as little as you would like, but most people get hooked on it and wanna use it enough with frequency, two, three times a week so that your brain can stay where we get it through neurofeedback. And that is a recipe for long-term success. So you will find that that is the way you're gonna heal your brain in the long run. Okay, I hope this helps you out. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.